This is going to go through a crab walk. I'm going to give you two variations, one where you're moving, and the other one is going to have a transition in and out of it, which is a really good movement body weight wise for shoulder stability. So a crab walk is, if you didn't do this in gym class or something as a kid, is basically just sitting, hands just behind your hips, so not real far back, and very lightly pulling your shoulders back and raising your hips up off the ground, right? So I don't have to be super high in the air, but I do want to make sure I'm not letting my shoulders cave forward. So as I do this, even as a precursor of the crab walk, I try and get patients to pull their shoulders back and keep them back as they lift their butt off the ground. Because as you get tired, your shoulders will start to do this, right? So if that happens, you're not ready to walk around yet. So if you are, right, shoulders back, I keep them back, and I start just going through this little bit of a walking motion, slow and controlled, I like this because it does have me using my shoulders in some extension, which typically is tight or limited. So I just make sure as I'm moving here, I'm keeping, every time my hand hits the ground, I think about not this, pulling forward, but back. And I could do it where I lead kind of my hands first. I can reverse it and walk forward. Really just trying to make sure as I do it, I'm not starting to cave to this forward position, okay? So that's option one, walking around, right? Option two is gonna be a little tougher, so I'm gonna stay in one place. I'm gonna set myself up with my shoulders back and my fingertips pointing out. I'm gonna lift up a little bit. Now from here, I'm gonna lift one hand off the ground, okay? Opposite leg is gonna swing through, all right? So I come to a little bit of this, you know, modified plank or single arm support position, and then it'll swing back. And my hand will go back to the ground. I'll shift my weight over to the opposite hand, really trying to make sure I keep that shoulder squeezed back, push away from the ground. Here I am. This leg is gonna slowly swing through. You'll notice as I do this, I'm not letting my shoulder hike up towards my ear. So I'm really focused on keeping my shoulder down you see my elbow pinches in a little bit, slowly transitioning back and coming back to my other hand on the ground. So this shouldn't be something done too fast. And really each time I kind of recheck my shoulder blades. So I think shoulders back, keep that squeeze into my armpit, start to put my weight on one arm. This leg comes through, coming back, arm comes back to the ground. Squeeze into the armpit, shift my weight to one hand. This arm comes off the ground. Slowly swing leg through. Slowly come back. Each time I go to shift to one hand, I think about reassessing or reestablishing that armpit squeeze. I really push down, shift my weight to that hand. So I'm really pushing myself away from the ground. I'm not letting myself sag like this. So if that shoulder is going towards the ear, that's not a good thing, right? And then once again, this bottom leg just steps through. And I kind of pivot a little bit on my standing leg. Arm comes back, reestablish the squeeze in my armpit, get up onto the shoulder. You notice I kind of come up and onto the shoulder instead of staying down. So I'm pushing myself away from the ground as I transition, pivoting on this standing leg. The crab.